Hi Capricorn, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. I'm going to do a career and finance reading for you for the month of April till May. Please bear in mind that time is fluid, so this video may also be timeless. Roles can be interchangeable and it's not gender specific. This is a general reading and it may or may not resonate with all Capricorn out there. So if you like a more personalized reading, you can WhatsApp me. All my contact information is below in the description box. Okay, Capricorn, I've already pre-shuffled for you. And let's take a look at your career messages, career and finance messages. I understand that everyone is going through a lot financially um, and also career-wise, of course, they are, they are both connected. And times are hard, so this is why I was thinking I should do this reading so you can find out what's going on or what's going to happen in the future well not really in the future in the near future this this month and next okay so let's let's get some messages for capricorn career and finance career and finance spirits and angels please show me accurate career and finance messages for capricorn sun moon rising and venus Okay. This flew out. Ugh. Okay. I'm doing the Celtic cross thread. That's my usual go to. And I find it um, more specific, and I do clarify all my cards because I like to dig deep into the storyline. Okay. Oh, wow. Career and finance messages for Capricorn for the month of April to May. Spirits and angels, please show me accurate messages for Capricorn. Career and finances, May, uh, April to May, twenty twenty. Okay, page of Wands, Universe. Okay, Spirits and Angels, please show me accurate finance and career messages. Four. Capricorn, April to May 2020. Oh my god, so many cards flew out. Okay, I'm not taking these. One more card. One more card, Spirits and Angels. One more card. One more card. Seven Swords in Reverse. I've been doing a lot of uh, private reading lately. Um, career, love, and health. So the last I uploaded a video for my YouTube channel, I think it was two days ago. So I think it's about time to get back to my um, recording my videos for my YouTube view viewers. This is a new channel, so I don't have that many followers yet, but I'm hoping to gain more. So, okay guys, Capricorn. So you can see in the past, uh, in a recent past, you have 10 of um, wands right here. So what I see is that, of course, it's a lot of work, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of burden when it comes to your career and your finances. And I think partly it has to do with, this is the Three of Swords. I always read Three of Swords when it comes to career reading as like a partnership. 
um, between two or three people, okay? And let's clarify more of the Three of Swords here. Three of Swords, please clarify. Let me take this. Yes, so as showing money here, this is the King of Pentacles, so he is the King of Money. So I think there is something going on right here currently, okay? And Three of Swords, although it is a partnership, but I I don't really see it as a really good um, kind of a partnership just because of the Swords energy. And also, um, usually even in love reading, we don't associate this very this card very positively unless it is in unless it is in reverse uh even in reverse it just means you're recovering from it maybe you are heartbroken or uh, just sad about what's going on this is in your current situation what's going on with your finances okay this is the king of pentacles so that's money right there um i think uh you're sad or you know worried maybe sad and worried about your finances right now i think that's pretty common because of what's going on right now with the coronavirus but let's dig deep deeper into it king of pentacles please clarify the more i clarify the cards um the more the picture becomes clearer so let's clarify the king of pentacles here um it seems like there is a silence going on because this is a hierophant card it means silence even secrets just being still okay so something um it's like the current situation shows quietness and stillness okay in your finances or career and there's this three of swords here i think i i think this if it's not about a partnership that uh that's going on right now i mean partnership doesn't mean partnership as in you know you having a business and you have a partner just that it also could mean you know even if you were to work for a company it's also a partnership you're partnering okay so even if you were to work for someone instead of owning your own business okay let's take a look at the page of wands in reverse here so there isn't much exploring to do let's clarify okay there isn't much exploring to do right here because I see the page of wands as an explorer and it is in reverse. Um, and also, I, page is new and I always see this one as growth, you know, something new, something growing. So it is not growing right now because it is in reverse. And something to do with the six of uh, cups, something to do with what you're thinking right now, maybe thinking about um, something in the past, your past uh, venture, your past business, your past, because Six of Cups is a nostalgia nostalgia card. So uh, looking back in your past, uh, or hometown, or you know, something you used to love to do, okay? Um, creatively, maybe you're thinking about that right now. Let's see. So the Empress card is crossing it. So Empress cards always means abundance, okay? Abundance, uh, prosperity, but um, it is not right now, okay? Because it is sitting on this position, the position where, you know, the blockage is. So there isn't a lot of... Uh, I think I feel I, I have a feeling it's something to do with your resource, like your resources. It's 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 not enough, okay? The Empress card in reverse, please clarify. Yeah, it's like you don't really have a choice. You don't really have a choice right now but to keep quiet and sit still and wait this also waiting i feel this card always resonates with me uh with waiting and with just keeping still and s similar to the high to the high priestess card right here so i think the problem is you know there is there's no 
not much movement right now. There is not much movement, and that um, it, you can't even really decide anything right now from this two of swords card that I'm I'm looking at. Not much communication going on. Okay, not much going on. Not much movement. Okay, and the heartbreak, the sadness that comes with. Um, your finances and your career because it is very quiet now it is like um, on a standstill because of these cards and the tower card here this is your subconscious so it is something that happened unexpectedly because the tower card always means something that just happened just like unexpectedly um, you know it's like someone just pulled the copper under from underneath your your feet and you just like whoa what just happened but this also means uh, this is also a divine intervention um, it is something that's meant to happen because of you know I always see the lightning striking the tower and that you know these people just had to fall out of the building without a choice so there isn't a choice right now because it is a natural thing it's just like a natural disaster okay just like the pandemic that is going on right now so the tower card is showing that you you know like we, we all know this is what's going on right now something that happened unexpectedly and it, definitely it has affected uh, your work or your business okay so the tower card please clarify the tower card spirits and angels please clarify the tower card okay so this is a seven of Pentacles, but you you know that this is also a temporary kind of thing because the seven of pentacles means um, You know when it's upright it usually means that you know you're planting your seeds and you're waiting to see the results but um, But very little but you see very little what but when it very little results coming from it But however, it's in reverse so you are somewhat aware that this is temporary that you will end up you know, seeing, you know, something will, will end up happening maybe in a more positive way than not, okay? And right here, this is you. This is the Three of Pentacles. It's about also, uh, it's about fixing whatever, you know, I think whatever loose ends that you have in your business or um, whatever that needs to be fixed, this is the time that, that you do, that you do that, you know, uh, working together as a team because I always see the Three of Pentacles, also I see the Three of Swords here, working as a team, working hand in hand, trying to fix the problem, trying to see, you know, what are the op other options that you can do or take, you know, to, to fix this, whatever that's going on right now, okay? The problems, and right here is the Ace of Swords, hopes and fears, please clarify. I think that you fear, you, you just want to know uh, more clarity towards uh, what's going on right now. You want to see more clarity. Uh, you want to know, um, not, I wouldn't say the truth, but it, you could also say that the truth of what's going on right now with your uh, situation with your career and finances. You want to see more clarity. You hope to see more clarity. Uh, a, get a clearer picture because I think everything seems kind of a bit on a standstill and not moving and a bit um, like just unclear basically and you hope you know um, that this is the Ace of Cups you know Ace of Cups also a new beginning and it's also a new beginning and you can see the cup is if it's an upright, you can see it is um, overflowing. So, but it is not overflowing right now. Instead, it's emptying. It's getting emptied. Um, it's slowly emptying. And I think you fear for that. You fear that, you're, you know, um, everything will s start to drain, you know, whether it's your finances or even uh, projects or whatever it is that you're dealing with, with your career and finances, you're afraid that it will drain, as in, you know, that you will keep losing it, and you're afraid that your cup, your money will will become empty. So because it is in reverse, as you can see, the cup here 
if you turn a cup upside down with water inside, of course you get it, it will become empty and you're gonna you know just lose everything. I think you fear of that. You fear that you you fear that you 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 fear that you don't know what's going on right now or what's going to happen. This is what I see, and that you know that you might empty your resources or your money or will will drain. So I think you fear for that. But and also your this is the advice. The advice is keep an eye, keep a very sharp. Eye and mind on on what's going on right now. See what everyone else is doing. Maybe there's something that you can learn from. Maybe there's something that you can somewhat copy from. Because the Page of Swords, you know, um, when it comes to love reading, it's like about spying and trying to see what everybody, whoever you're interested in, you know, uh, is doing. So, but in the career career reading, I see more like. Um, they have, and it's sitting on the advice position right here. So I see, I see it more as like you uh, that the, the advice is telling you, the cards is telling you that try and take a look at what everybody else is doing. Maybe there is something that you can learn from. Um, you know, some ideas you can copy from. I mean, it's not a bad thing to copy from somebody else, you know, um, most ideas are being copied anyway. So um, the cards are telling you to just just take a look around you. I mean, maybe you might get some inspiration from other people, what other people are doing, okay? Let's clarify the page of swords here. Yeah, and reignite your passion you know, look at this as an opportunity. Although, although um, whatever that's going on right now seems unclear and unstable, um, and you worry, but but uh, take this opportunity, take this and uh, this um, situation, negative situation right now, and turn it into positive. You know, reignite your passion. For something else, maybe, or some different kind of approach. All right, I want to see more advice. Knight of Wands, please give me more advice. Yep, this is the Two of Cups here. Maybe um, if you could work together with someone else, you know, team up. I think the teaming up is very important. Okay, it, uh, partnering with someone who could maybe help. Uh, you, you both could help each other um, to go through this uh, period of difficult time because I can see that it is kind of difficult. Something unexpected that had happened, okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's see more. Ten of Cups in reverse. You're not happy. You're not happy. It's affecting everyone, your family. Maybe whether it's a, your own family, like blood family, or your, you know, business family, it's affecting everyone here. It's not just you because the Ten of Cups is in reverse. Okay, let's clarify Ten of Cups in reverse, Spirits and Angels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, losing the stability because the Emperor card is stability, and and you know, being wise and. Uh, being in, in charge, in control, but you feel like you're not in control right now, not being uh, in charge, not in charge, of, not being in charge in this situation. You feel like, you know, everything has, has gone upside down and has affected, if it's affecting your family or also your, you know, uh, people you work with, you know, people you work with can also be like a family to you because you guys see each other every day and you work hand in hand and your team, I would say like your team um, is not happy and everything is on a standstill, okay? Let's see, the seven of, seven of Swords here is in reverse, okay? Seven of Swords here it, sh it shows that um, whatever that was done, somebody was being sneaky, maybe someone was cheating and being dishonest within your, your business, and it has been found out. It will be found out. Okay, let's see. 
Let's see more. Seven of Swords in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. This is the um, Five of Swords. Five of Swords. This is Six of Swords. Sorry, I always, my math is always really bad. I always get my numbers mixed up. And I say this in all of my videos almost. But anyways, this card, it, it is also, was it in reverse? I think it was in reverse. I feel like mm, with because of this three of swords here that I saw just now here, this could also mean some betrayal going on, okay? Within, uh, between you and uh, someone else in, in whatever that you're doing right now. Um, and because of the Seven of Swords here too in reverse, I feel like uh, there is some sort of a dishonesty or betrayal that has happened or is still going on right now. Uh, just bear in mind, time is fluid. So I feel like someone must have uh, someone in within your career or you know your finances isn't really being very honest about something. Someone is being sneaky. Okay. On top of this, you know, standing still and losing charge, losing control, and um, I think it maybe could have something to do your with your family also, okay? And something it could also mean that you didn't expect this person to betray you, okay? Um, you didn't expect to even catch this person betraying you when it comes to your money. Or your business, the betrayal could be, you know, uh, projects, you know, stealing projects and money, and you know, or just lying. Someone is being sneaky here, and I think you you probably unexpectedly caught this person, okay, and it's cost everything to. It's like the ten of cups in reverse, so you're not happy. So it costs a lot. It costs a lot. Uh, losing stability in probably the business or the your career, okay, your job could be your job. Okay, let's clarify the six of cups here. Six of cups, okay. Yeah, see the hierophant card. So I I think somehow something between this connection that you have with your partnership or you know it could be a colleague. Uh, it could be your staff, it could be your company, okay? The partnership, it, it varies. It's still partnership because all of you are actually working together. So the Hierophant card is in reverse. So maybe you're thinking about, you know, just uh, taking a break, go go back to your hometown. And um, because uh, I, I do see the Hierophant card sometimes I also see as like, um, I know this is not a... A justice card, but the Hierophant card. I always see the similarity between this card and the Justice card. It could also mean like uh, maybe an ending of a contract, or a, a, just you know something that's put to halt or, or or an ending, okay, of a business or a project or your job. Maybe it's being put on a uh, at a on a halt at a halt, <laughs> okay. Um, Let's see. So I feel like also someone was being caught and all that. So initially, maybe you were thinking, you know, I just wanna, you know, this card uh, is a little bit tricky. It can mean it can mean either someone just giving up, giving up, just giving up on on uh, this whole thing, thinking about giving up on this whole thing, or just you know, um, sort of. You think you have won, but then you actually didn't win. Someone just has has given up on you. Pick how it resonates with you. With this card here, let's see. Let's clarify. Yeah, and also this is the, at least it looks good here. This is the uh, Wheel of Fortune card. So this could mean uh, luck is going to be on your side. And finally, I see the outcome of uh, luck going to be on your side and maybe you will explore. I see this also a bit of a travel card 
and maybe you will travel and you will you eventually not right now because i feel like everything is on a standstill right now but you do think of explore uh you i do foresee like luck is going to be more so on your side when all of this is over and settled um but it is also telling you that maybe you should seek a new partnership you know a new collaboration a new partnership and do something that you are more uh passionate about okay and keep an eye on what everybody else is doing do your research very important to do your research and this is the um wheel of fortune it's a very good card to have like at the end here i think whatever whatever that has happened okay uh whether someone has stolen from you or being dishonest and all of that um uh, and now everything is also on top of that being on a standstill um and you may be just thinking about going back to your hometown or do something that you used to do before maybe you're considering that okay whatever that you consider doing uh eventually i think you will you will reap what you sow but in a positive way okay let's clarify here yeah and you feel like you need to focus you need to really really focus right now because this is the eight of pentacles um and with all of that this is a time that you know you need to focus um something a time where you can be alone and focus and think about the solution or think about what your next strategy is what you should be doing or trying to fix whatever problems that you have but i see the fixing here the three of cups uh three of pentacles here so i think you are like right now this moment trying to focus on you know how to fix things and how to make things better but i do see that eventually you know luck is going to be on your side and maybe there will be some traveling going on okay clarify real unfortunate okay but still i feel like um this is a nine of pentacles and it is in reverse i do still see that you need to rely eventually you 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 will still i i i predict that maybe you will still need to um hang on or to have some sort of partnership to get yourself going to get yourself going to get your business going you i don't think you can actually do it alone yet you cannot do it alone you need some sort of a support some uh, a partnership okay from someone you can trust definitely because this one there was somebody you couldn't trust that you know that you have found out about something they did to you business wise and yeah this card just flew out and i think you need to um also think about wisely you know take some time out which is probably what you're doing right now take some time out uh off stay uh, um you know be in a hermit mode as in this is the hermit card right here be in a hermit mode and just think wisely uh what your next steps are what you need to do and this is the chance for i think all of us um doesn't matter what signs i think this is the chance for all of us to you know um have some time on our own anyway to really think about what 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 you've been doing um has it been have you been on the right path i mean not right or wrong there's no right or wrong but is it working out for you right now is it working out for you will you will it work out for you in the future uh whatever that your career path is right now your business path whatever that's going on right now will it you know work out for you is this good um will will you get back you know whatever that you invest into it um you know because with businesses i feel like businesses career finances we all want to work work hard it, not to say i i don't think everybody wants to work hard but everyone wants to see a return from their hard work right so i think this is a time for you to really um think about what is think about it in a wisely and oh this card also means you know to seek advice from someone who is more experienced to seek advice from someone who is who has more wisdom 
when it comes to you know the type of career the type of business that you are going to have or that you're doing right now or that you're planning to do in the future so okay capricorn this is your reading i hope you enjoyed it i hope if, if nothing else it helps and to the cross watchers or anyone who just stumbled upon um, this video maybe this just could be a message for you because it is also for capricorn sun moon rising and venus so we have all different signs that you know energy works in such a you know fluid and also in such a mysterious way it's almost like magic so um if you just happen to to listen to this video whether you're capricorn or not um it may also resonate with you so but in any case i feel that also um the private reading and it, it will be even more accurate because it is personalized personalized so if you prefer personalized reading you can contact me on my whatsapp and my number is in the description box um everything is there you can get to know me better on my social media facebook and instagram okay capricorn i wish you all the best um take care and uh subscribe because i will be posting more videos and like the video if it resonates with you thanks capricorn take care and i'll see you soon